In this video, we will continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 191 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Find x if x is bigger than equal to 0 and smaller than equal to 180 degrees. And sec x is equal to 2,1. Okay, again, I want to make it a bit bigger. Okay, here it is. So, it is difficult to work on a calculator with the functions cosec, sec and cot. Change them into sine, cos or tan. These three are the only function keys on your calculator. By taking the reciprocal of the ratio. We know that sec is 1 over cos and, um, and 1 sec is cos x. Okay, so we write the equation as 1 over cos x, which is 2 comma 1. Therefore, cos x is equal to 1 over 2 comma 1. So basically, we just swap this one around and we swap the ratio also around. The cosine function is positives in quadrants 1 and 4, so, but the, the sine stays the same, 1 and 4, but the domain is restricted because they said only 180, so I scratch that. So it's just quadrant 1. Um, so um, excluding 3 and 4 quadrants, therefore the only solution will be in quadrant 1. Work out the basic ang ang angle using your calculator. So again, Second function cos bracket, it's good to put a bracket, 1 divide 2.1, close the bracket, equals. And remember two decimal places because your final answer must be 1. Otherwise, it's not accurate. Okay, so now in degrees, round off the basic angle to two decimal places so that the final answer can be correct to one decimal place. Okay, and then it's basically just 61.6. .6. Maybe just remember... That sin, okay, always just focus on that third letter. Can you see? Sin, cosec, cos, sec, tan, cot. Okay, cot is tan. Uh, tan is cot, sec is cos, and cosec is sin. Okay, just, just um, make sure that as soon as I swap, this is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal, this is equal, this is equal, this is equal. Okay. Let's look at uh, a few examples. I think that other, I will start the video with that. Solve the following equations for the interval 90 to 360. Right, so again, let's just take two. I think two will be enough. We did a cos one, so let's just do a sec one. <laughs> There's a sec one. And then I'm looking for a cot one. Yes, that would be nice. Now we can take cot positive. Just uh, do number B and E. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. <clears throat> okay, let's start with number B. And that is sec x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so the first step is already look at the third and make it cos and swap it around. Okay, keep your sign. Now you go to your sketch. Sorry. Okay. And then you write your cost. Don't forget your cost. And don't forget that this one is blocked out. Okay. So where is cos, it would have been there, a negative. Oh, no, it's not there. So where is cos negative? Cos is negative in two places. It's going to be here negative and here negative because it was there positive. Okay, so now the first thing, I must find that basic angle. Don't press that negative in. So press shift cos and then 1 divided by 2, or bracket, 1 divided by 2, close the bracket, but I get my basic angle <clears throat> is going to be on the dot 60 degrees. <clears throat> now I just find my answer, 
Mm. Just want to keep my color. So my first answer is going to be x is 180 minus 60. And that will be 120 degrees. And the other answer is going to be 180 plus 60 degrees. And that's 240 degrees. Okay. And that's how you do it. <clears throat> Let's look at the last one, number E. And <clears throat> again, I'm going to make space, sorry. I'm just going to make space. <clears throat> number E. And that would be cot. Oh, let's just <clears throat> get this. Okay, so if I'm looking at cot, uh, again, before you start, make it turn. And turn it around. Okay, and now, don't forget your course diagram. Now, don't forget that the question set there, so this one is blocked out. So where is tan positive? It would have been there, but it's blocked out, so it's only here. So I get my basic angle, that's my basic angle, <clears throat> and I'm going to press on my calculator, second function tan, bracket, 1 divide 2.11, close the bracket, equals, and make it two decimal places, so it's 25.36. And now, I'm going to find my value of x, that was the basic, that's to the x-axis, but the value of x is this. Okay, so to find the value of x, I take the 180 degrees, and I add the 25.36. And if I add that, I get 205, and now it's one decimal place, 0.4 degrees. And that is my final answer. Okay. In the next video, I'm going to start with radians. Now, just remember this. If you see degrees, make sure your calculator is on degrees. If you see radians, this is put your calculator on the radian mode. So, and I want to even make it bigger because it's coming in the next video. Mm. When the question gives angle in radians, for example, between 0 and 2 pi, if you see 0 pi, 0, 2 pi, the answer should be given in radians. So your calculator, so set your calculator to radian mode for those questions. Always check the mode. So usually you put mode, and then you will press mode again. On my, I have a cashier now. And then one is for the degrees and two is for radians. So after the second time you press mode, I will just press two. And now my calculator will be on the radian mode. So very, very important.